and welcome to Mocha Mama Cafe. I am Mocha Mama and I have my water again today. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in to our March 3rd, 2017 episode, Friday. Yay, Friday. Yay for Friday. Uh, today is for March 3rd, 2017. So Welcome and thank you for tuning in to our broadcast today. I am excited. I'm doing something very, very different today. Um, it's been an interesting week. We've had the award ceremonies. Well, not we here, but the award ceremonies have taken place. And interesting things have happened from the award ceremonies. But it wasn't really the faux pas that happened at the end that I wanted to focus on today. I wanted to actually read part of Viola Davis's um, acceptance speech. And then, of course, who could remember, think of Viola Davis without, you know, also thinking about Halle Berry. That caused me to think about her acceptance speech as well. And so I wanted to go ahead and read those today. Uh, not all of them, all of each of them, but just a little portion of both of them. So uh, we'll be doing that a little bit later on today. But first of all, you know what we do, we read a chapter a day. And so I will be focusing on chapter three of Proverbs today. And uh, I do still have our March haiku. Uh, if you're not sure what a haiku is, then you can tune into our previous episodes and for March. And you will find out what exactly a haiku is. And in case you're wondering how in the world is spelled H-A-I-K-U. H-A-I-K-U. And our haiku, our March haiku is... Time for something new. Out with the old, start anew. Season brand new, March. So March, move forward this March, this wonderful new month. We still have, we're only three days in, so you can still plan what you want to do. You can still set your goals for March. You can still do your vision casting for March and see where do you want to end up become, come April 1st? Where do you want to be once April hits? What do you want to have accomplished uh, during this month of March? So think about that. Also, I've been reading Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. I will read it in the Amplified Version this time. Do not remember the former things or ponder the things of the past. Listen carefully. I am about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put a road in the wilderness, rivers, and the desert. Now there's one interesting word that I really like here, and it says, now it will spring forth. And you know what that reminds me of? That word now reminds me of now faith is. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things uh, not seen. And that's in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11. So now it shall spring forth or it will spring forth. Now faith is. So what are you doing now? What now is happening in your life? What now do you want to do? How are you going to apply that faith to now? So anyway, let's go on and prepare to read our chapter for today. And this episode will probably be really, really short because um, we're just focusing on Proverbs and then we'll be focusing on just those uh, acceptance speeches, okay? So Lord, we thank you for this day, this moment, this time. Thank you that you are awesome and thank you that you have now purpose for us, that you have plans for us, Lord God. Thank you that you do everything in season, Lord God. But I also know that we're to be ready, instant, in and out of season. So help us to be ever available to you and for you. Bless the reading of this word and bless this broadcast in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, Trusting in the Lord. My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both 
God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. For wisdom is far, excuse me, for wisdom is more profitable than silver and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies and nothing you desire can compare with her. She offers you long life in her right hand and riches and honor in her left. She will guide you down delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who will hold her tightly. By wisdom, the Lord founded the earth. By understanding, he created the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep fountains of the earth burst forth, and the dew settles beneath the night sky. My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. For the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to help them. If you can help your neighbor now, don't say, come back tomorrow and then I'll help you. Don't plot harm against your neighbor. For those who live nearby trust you. Don't pick a fight without reason when no one has done you harm. Don't envy violent people or copy their ways. Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but he offers his friendship to the godly. The Lord curses the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the upright. The Lord mocks the mockers, but is gracious to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools are put to shame. Hmm. And that's Proverbs chapter 3. And now I wanted to read just a portion of the acceptance speech uh, that Viola Davis won just this week for uh, Best Supporting Actress for the Oscar for Fences. And her acceptance speech, part of it says, Thank you to the Academy. You know, there's one place that all the people with the greatest potential are gathered. One place, and that's the graveyard. People ask me all the time, she says, what kind of stories do you want to tell, Viola? And I say, exhume those bodies. Exhume those stories. The stories of the people who dreamed big and never saw those dreams to fruition. People who fell in love and lost. I became an artist and thank God I did because we are the only profession that celebrates what it means to live a life. Hmm. I think that's very powerful. Uh, Especially the part about when she says exhume those bodies, uh, talking about uh, the graveyard. I remember Miles Monroe speaking years and years and years ago, and he was saying the richest place on earth is the graveyard. Remember what we said earlier about now? Now it shall spring forth. Now faith is. What are you doing with your now? And Halle Berry, when she won um, 
in the Academy Award for Actress in a Leading Role for the Monsters, uh, the film Monsters Ball. Her speech, part just a small part of her speech, says, This moment is so much bigger than me. This moment is for Dorothy Dandridge, Lena Horne, Diane Carroll. It's for the women that stand beside me, Veda Pinkett, Angela Bassett, Vivica Fox. And it's for every nameless, faceless woman of color that now has a chance because this door tonight has been opened. Thank you. I'm so honored. I'm so honored, and I thank the Academy for choosing me to be the vessel for which his blessing might flow. Wow. These two acceptance speeches, both of them made it a point to, to say that the moment is bigger than they are. The moment is bigger than them, so to speak. And I just thought that was really powerful, and I wanted to share that with you uh, during this Friday edition of March 3rd, 2017 of the Mocha Mama Cafe broadcast. I pray that you have an awesome weekend. We will be having our one episode coming up uh, for the actual weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So I look forward to seeing you then. God bless.